All right, in this video, we are going to practice collapsing and expanding data in a report. The exercise is gonna be over here on the right-hand side. This is what we will follow along with. And this exercise is in our advanced level Pro Advisor certification course. If you would like more information about that course, there is a link below in the description. Just go ahead and click on that for more information. But let's dive right in and see what we're gonna to do today. Our scenario is that Craig loves to see the individual sales for each customer, but he would like to easily see a summary for each customer at the same time too. How can we he easily see both the detail and the summary in the same report? Let's find out. You will need to be in the sample company to do this exercise. Now, if you're not sure how to get into the sample company or get your own free QBOA account, be sure to click on the link below in the description. I have the sample company pulled up here on the left-hand side. This specifically is the dashboard. So let's get started with the exercise and get to that reporting center. To do so from the left navigation bar, we're going to click on reports. That is over here on the left hand side. Halfway down is reports. Go ahead and click on that. And now in the sales and customer section, we need to click on the report that is sales by customer detail. So we see this is the favorite section, the business overview. Keep going down until you find sales and customers, which is a little bit, uh, I think that was the fourth one down. Um, and then we're going to click on the one that says sales by customer detail. Go ahead and click on that. Now, as a note here that Intuit is currently changing in the process of changing all reports from classic view to modern view. When clicking on a report, um, it will automatically default to the modern view, which is this one right here. So in the next two sections, you will see how to collapse and expand data in both the modern view as well as the classic view. So let's start with this modern view. In the, um, uh, we're going to click on the down arrow, excuse me, next to this month to date to select all dates. That is this right here. And this is just the date range that we are going to set. Go ahead and click on that down arrow until you find all dates. Go ahead and select that. And the uh, report will automatically update for you. Now in the report, you're gonna click the arrows next to each customer to collapse the details. For extra practice, you can click the arrows for several customers to see how this changes the overall look of the report. So the down arrow is right here. Here's the first one for Amy's Bird Sanctuary. If you click on that arrow, it is going to collapse the information. So now you're getting rid of all the details. You can collapse through a couple of them so you can see how it's changing. Now, when you collapse the detail rows, it will only show the total show, or excuse me, it will only show the totals for each customer, which is what Craig was trying to achieve. I'm going to scroll over so that you can see that this amount is showing the total for each of the customers that we have collapsed the details for. And if he needs to expand it again to see the details, he would just click on the same arrows that he clicked on before so that this will all expand the details for each customer. So that is the modern view. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what it would be in the classic view. We're going to click on switch to classic view, which is the button right here. Click on that. And now we are looking at the same report, but this time in the classic view. In the report period field, let's go ahead and change it to all dates. Here is that report period field right here. We're changing that uh, date range to all dates. Go ahead and click on that. And then you need to click on run report. And now the report has been updated for all customers showing all dates. Now, once again, in the report, you're going to click on the arrows next to each customer to collapse the details. And for extra practice, just click on the arrows for several customers to see how it changes the overall look of the report. So you could go ahead and click on those down arrows next to each customer name just to see how it would look. Um, now, just like you saw in Modern View, when you collapse the detail rows, only the total shows for each customer, which again is what Craig was trying to achieve. If I scroll over here, you will see the amount is showing right there um, for each individual customer. And again, if he wants to uh, see the details, once again, all he needs to do is expand it by simply clicking on the same arrows that he clicked on to collapse those details. 
So that's it. That is how you would collapse and expand data within a report. Now, if you liked this exercise and you uh, want to do more like it, or if you want more information about that advanced level pro advisor certification course, be sure to click on the link below in the description and I will see you in the next